So let me bring up some good math on the dollar, and that is the Bloomberg Dollar Index. It's a little more sophisticated than the standard DXY index. Folks, if I was teaching a course with Professor Lignos, this is a chart I would use. This is a beyond elegant trend of weaker dollar. I'll be honest, Elsa, I've never seen such a contained weak dollar. Can you extrapolate that out to further dollar weakness? Well, it's interesting because there are lots of good things that could happen for the dollar in 2018. Um, but it's very difficult to see any of them materializing in the short term. In fact, in the very short term, it's more possible that we'll have bad news coming out, whether it's from um, debt ceiling negotiations or the Fed getting cold feet if, if the fiscal side is, is freezing up a little bit. And um, definitely from a technical side, the momentum does favor further dollar weakness. So we saw a lot of dollar selling yesterday at the month end close, at the month end fixes. Um, that may well extend over the next month. Longer term, I'd actually be in Mark's camp. I'm think that the, the dollar weakness might be a little bit overdone. Mm -hmm. But like Mark, we're looking for opportunities to play sterling weakness, for example, on the crosses rather than uh, just a straight kick. I, I mean, it's a jumble here right now. Do you have a market to play in? Are there people that have overbet a certain strategy where you can go against that? Or is it just a dead August market? Well, actually, we are seeing some interesting trades emerge. Um, there's a lot of interest picking up in the Swiss franc. For many people, Euro-Swiss is just the new Euro-Yen trade. And that kick started last week, but has extended into this week. You know, it may have been M&A flow originally getting it going, but now we're seeing an increased interest from other investors. Um, and then outside of that, you know, we still like Aussie dollar higher, for example. You know, there are still good trades out there. It's just perhaps wiser to stay clear of piling into a dollar trade at this stage in time.